Good morning, Captains. I'm Ashley Iliadis. And I'm Jake Kroll. Today is March 25th, and here are your daily announcements. On this day in history, in 1961, Cincinnati beat Ohio State 70-65 to in overtime during the 23rd NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. In honor of March Madness, here's today's trivia question. What NCAA basketball team has won the most championships? Is it A, Kentucky, B, Duke, C, UCLA, or D, Ohio State? Please stay tuned for the answer to be revealed later on in the show. Students, please keep your books and materials in your locker. Some of you are leaving books on the floor by the student benches near the media center and by the tee. Starting next week, we will be removing articles left behind and taking them to Lost and Found. Thank you for keeping our school clean and protecting your books by keeping them in your locker. Attention all sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Northern Michigan University will be here Tuesday, March 29th during seminar. Also, Fair State University will be here on Friday, April 1st during seminar. See Mr. Sherrill in the CCRC to sign up for either session. Our next blood drive is today. Please stop by the blood drive table or see Ms. Victor to see if there are any open appointments left. Remember, you must be 17 years or older to donate. Please bring your picture ID with you to the appointment. Ladies, do you want to save money on a prom dress but still want a beautiful dress? PPI has the perfect solution. We will be selling prom dresses for low prices on April 15th during all three lunches in the PAC lobby area. Please bring in any of your used dresses that you are willing to donate and you will be entered into a drawing to receive gift cards to Michigan College of Beauty, Becky's Hair Force, Calypso, or Salon Suzette. Please bring your dresses to Miss Hemming in room 304B or the main office by April 13th. Also, please attach your first and last name to the dress so we can enter you into the drawing. Gentlemen, there will also be some apparel for you to check out. Student Council will meet on Tuesday, March 29th during Seminar Resource Time 1 in the North Gym. Are you hungry for a sweet homemade snack? Then check out Cupcake Fridays. Every Friday, FCCLA will be selling delicious homemade cupcakes between first and second block and at lunches. Treat yourself or surprise a friend for only $1. And now for the Teacher of the Week. The Teacher of the Week is... Mr. Malley in room 510. Please call down to room 304A by the end of seminar to claim your prize. Congratulations, DECO students Keith Lingenfelter, Taylor McKenna, Nick McLennan, Amanda Penfound, Sarah Stepchinski, and Chris Crane for winning state competitions and qualifying for the International Career Development Conference in Orlando. Speaking of Chris Crane, here he is with Brittany Zarkowski of the One Book, One Community kickoff. Hello, Karen Captains. I'm Chris Crane for WK Today. Here is Brittany Zierkowski, a famed Wi-Fi caring student. And she is part of the One Book, One Community. And I have some questions to ask her. Uh, first off question, why, why was the book chosen? Well, I know Mr. Wilson met Jeanette Engel, the author of the book, at uh, like an English teacher like convention. And he talked to him about it, and he was like, this is a great book for one book, one school. And he had ideas about making it into one book, one community for a while. And so um, he went back, and he talked, and the English department at Kettering decided on it, and they decided that it would be a good book to be chosen. Oh, really? What, what, age, what age range do you think appeals mostly to a book? Well, it's definitely upper middle school and t through uh, um, lower high school, uh -huh. but... I read the book personally, and it actually, like, from fifth grade on, and even adults can read it. Like, it's, um, it holds the interest of the older kids, but it also is easy to read for the younger ones. Huh. Um, what, what um, is the story about? It's about Maggie Chen, a high school junior. Her father um, is killed in a hit-and-run accident, and he was a journalist for the Seattle Herald, mm -hmm. and... Um, she actually is interning there this summer and she because she's always wanted to follow in his footsteps and she um, basically discovers this story that mm -hmm. might have something to do with like corrupt politicians and with her father's mm -hmm. death that it might actually be a murder mm -hmm. and so that's like it's the mystery of the her going through that story and finding out about her father's life and herself. Wow, sounds like a good read. It is. Well, <laughs> thank you Brittany. Back to you. Currently, our school is hosting a can-tab drive 
for the Ronald McDonald House. We will be collecting the metal tabs off the cans until April 12th. There will be collection bags hanging around the school, so please donate. We are also having a clothing drive for the Grace Centers of Hope from now until April 12th. Please bring in any new or gently used clothes to any of the following drop-off zones. Rooms 401, 301, 504, 113, 408, or 210. Again, that's rooms 401, 301, 504, 113, 408, or 210. For every article of clothing you bring in, you will receive a ticket to be entered into a raffle to win one of the following prizes. $70 gift card to a place of your choice or one of two $15 gift cards to a place of your choice. If you have any questions, please contact the leadership class or Ms. Victor in room 401. Student Council will meet on Tuesday, March 29th during Seminar Resource 1 in the North Gym. Now for the sports tonight. Boys JV Lacrosse is at 5.30 at Mott. Girls Varsity Lacrosse is at 6.30 at Plymouth Salem and Boys Varsity Lacrosse is at 7 at Mott. The answer to the trivia question is C, UCLA with 11 championship wins. Now here's Mr. V with a joke of the day. So did you hear about the antenna and the satellite dish who got married? Yeah, the wedding was terrible, but the reception was excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ashley Eliades. And I'm Jake Kroll. Have a great day.